Hi guys, Irish Trekkie here, bringing you another review of Star Trek The Official Starships Collection. This time issue 4, which brings you the USS Enterprise NX-01. So we have our model again, and our magazine. So like we normally do, we'll just put the model to one side for a second, and just go through the magazine briefly here. Just to show you what you get, what content, and what other surprises may be inside. So we get our standard specifications profile, um, to begin with. And again, bringing you nice quality graphics to the table as well. So we just go through here and see what content we have. So we just have our little brief description of the Enterprise. Again, a fantastic graphic there showing you just over what I assume would be Earth. Um, some data feed uh, information there. And just background information, kind of giving you a little history of uh, where the ship came from and launch dates and such like that as well. So nice little interesting read off the, out of the door there for you. We have a nice little selection of graphics then uh, continued throughout the rest of the magazine. Again, sh showing you some nice uh, detailed close-ups as well as some action shots again. The background is continued then over the next couple of pages with the kind of brief breakup of uh, data feeds again going through Captain Archer, maintenance pods and some other little detailing here as well. We have our grappling hook uh, which would be re later on replaced with uh, tractor beams in future series as well. We have our mind strike there again showing you some of the impressive uh, on-screen graphics that uh, were in this uh, series. I did like the series actually, but unfortunately it came to an early end, but that's for another video. So we have our section here uh, involving the first flight. So again, in Enterprise, we were privy to the launch of the ship. So uh, this kind of site, site, this kind of area of the magazine kind of shows similarities from the motion picture and um, where we had the initial launch of the refit uh, enterprise ncc1701 and the similarities there as well a uh, nice shot off the impulse section there and the deflector dish off the nx01 again so a nice little read and a kind of glimpse into the thinking of it so we have our profile page here which shows us our uh, key features of the, sh the ship itself so our shuttle bays our cargo bays as well um some information there on the warp drive system there and giving us some key points of interest on the actual ship itself shuttle bays impulse uh, deflector dish cargo bays as well and then some interesting facts along that side of things as well so then, um, as is the kind of tradition with the magazines, we go into the area of designing the NX-01 and showing us a glimpse into the design history and where it went from and where it originally ended up then as well. So we can see kind of following the design philosophy of a lot of the um, ships in Star Trek with the secondary hull. Um, you see the original Enterprise kind of did kind of follow the Akira uh, feel of it, which it does actually touch upon in the magazine itself. And it actually is quite an interesting read. And then you have what the kind of decks are made up of and kind of w w why they ended up where they, were, where they eventually did on the actual show itself. And some nice graphics there to kind of concrete what they're saying in the text as well. So again, nice little insight there for you. And uh, nice interesting piece toward the end of the magazine, um, as you can see here, Enterprise NX uh, 0 1 0.5, uh, where the original designer had intended to uh, retrofit the ship um, as the series progressed. And I say, unfortunately, it didn't. Um, it, it ended prematurely on TV, but we see the addition of a secondary hull um, underneath the original um, NX model there, kind of giving us more of a transition feel between uh the nx01 and the ncc1701 um again would have been interested to see and hopefully if they ever do get the interest to bring it back if they do continue it be interesting to see if that is the model that they do use but again nice little read there for you and then we have our on-screen appearance here and our sneak peek of the next issue so that's pretty much the magazine again similar formula to what we're used to so we we'll just put that aside now and we look at our model Again, this now is a different scale to the previous ships that we have been used to. So again, I'm interested to see the level of quality that we have on here. So let's get at this now and see what we can do. Let's pull that aside. Knock that aside. I'll just move my keyboard out of the way. Apologies. Okay, so here we go. Let's just hope we don't break. Don't break. 
model and our stand. Get out. Okay, cool. So let's just kind of have a look at this here if I get into focus. Nice level of detail on this, to be honest with you. Um, they have touches of Aztec along the hull there as well, if I can kind of catch it in the light. Um, the decals on it are the best I've seen so far in the series. If I can get into focus, there we go. Perfect. And we have a little deflector dish there. Not as prominent as I thought it would, but I didn't. I was I was wondering how they would do it because it does come out a bit, whereas they have it kind of flush here to kind of give us a bit more of a longevity because that probably would have broken off um probably as time went on we have our cargo bay there our hull bridge section or drive section here as well and uh, nice detailing and then you have that kind of neon plastic there where the light shines through for the nacelles and again on the buzzard collectors there as well really really nice so we just check the underneath here as well oh we have a little mark underneath ah not to worry you're going to want to have one or two issues here. Again, we have our decaling continued here. Again, the other side of the cargo bay, shuttle bay section. Yeah, really, really nice, really nice. And we just get the back of it there then. So we have our impulse, dual impulse. And our dock and bay ports there as well. Really, 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 really nice. So we just put that down for a second. So it connects into, oops, focus, sorry, apologies about that connects into the saucer section there so it sits very very rigidly on that and uh, this is a really nice model guys and um, very happy with it um yeah definitely definitely yeah i hope you're enjoying your series if you're getting it as well or if you're planning on subscribing and um, this has been one of the treats of the collection so far uh, apologies about not getting it out on time i had an issue with shipping and the model was delayed but after a lot of communication um, eventually I have received uh, issue 4 and 5 as well so uh, yeah so that concludes my um, review of issue 4 of the NX01 from um, Star Trek the official Starships collection hope you enjoyed it and please join me on the next episode good luck bye bye